We'll now find the landmarks of the patient's posterior torso. We'll begin with the vertebral prominence, also known as the Spanish process of C7. To find this, palpate along the patient's neck until you feel a bump. Sometimes you'll find two bumps. You'll then want to have the patient bend their head forwards. These bumps should definitely become more prominent now. And if you had any problems finding them earlier, you'll definitely find them now. When the patient puts their head back up to normal, one of those bumps will disappear and one of them will remain. The one that disappears is the spinous process of C7 and the one that remains is the spinous process of T1. Next, we'll move on to the scapula. To find the spine of the scapula, place your palm over the patient's shoulder, posterior shoulder. Running horizontally, you'll feel a ridge. This ridge is the spine of the scapula. An important note about this ridge is that it's at the level of the spinous process of T3. We'll then find the medial border of the scapula. If you have a slender patient, you can usually palpate this medial border pretty easily. However, if you're having difficulties, you can have the patient wing their arm, meaning stick their hand behind their back, and that'll wing out the scapula, as you can see here. Now it's very easy to find that medial border of that patient's scapula. While the patient's arm is winged, we'll move down to the inferior angle, which is essentially the point of the scapula, where the two, two sides of the scapula come down to make that inferior angle of the scapula.